This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Hey guys, this is Edward Aquarium. A lot of iPhone 6 Plus users have ended up with a bent phone screen, and this renders the phone screen completely unusable. Well, there is a solution for that. And if you follow along this video, all you need is a micro SIM card and a couple of tools, and you will be able to get your iPhone screen up and running in just no time. So this is the iPhone 6 Plus to be repaired. Its screen is not sensitive to touch at all. All the buttons are functional, but as a result of the not working screen, you can't really do anything with it. Happens as a result of a relatively soft back cover, or some people are referring to it as a back frame, but if you look from the side, it has that slight curve to it. It's actually bent outwards. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to fix it by using a micro SIM card. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna turn it on and what I'm going to do also is I will show you the tools that are needed. You need a plastic pry up tool, you need a micro SIM card that's going to go between the metal plate and the flex cables. And you obviously need a couple of screwdrivers. So you need a smallest pound loop screw driver that's available in the set to remove these two screws on the bottom. And you will also need another screwdriver that's going to be just a regular, uh, very small Phillips and then you will also need a double-sided adhesive. And the reason I use this is when you take the screws out that hold the metal plate in place, you wanna make sure that you preserve the screws in the original order. So you can actually place them on a double-sided adhesive. So when you're reassembling the phone, you can take the screws off the double-sided adhesive and place them in the reverse order compared to how you assembled it. So as you can see, you can use the buttons, you can try to turn it off, but the screen is not responding at all. You can't cancel out of this and you can't slide the slider to the right to power it down. Although you can turn up and down the volume. Those, those will work. So in order to fix this, follow along and I will guide you through the entire process. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna slightly magnify the video so you can see a little bit better. And I'm also going to put on some gloves which I highly recommend. Uh, this is not necessary, but it just really prevents any grease from getting onto any of the contact plates or any any surfaces that are inside underneath the screen. So the first, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these penelope screws. They do need to come out entirely, both of them, and you need to place them on a double adhesive tape to make sure you don't lose them because they're very small. Next, we're going to use the plastic pry up tool, starting at the bottom, fitting the pry up tool in between the back cover and the screen and working our way up very slowly and carefully towards the upper portion of the screen. Be very careful and be very patient because it is possible that you could break the screen. So take your time with this and don't rush. And once you make it past the middle, it will feel as if the entire screen has come out of the frame. So then you just slowly lift it up. Now you do have to stop slightly over a 90 degree angle to make sure that you don't break any of those flex cables that are hidden behind that metal plate right there. And that metal plate is what we're going to remove next. This is the micro SIM card that's gonna fit in between the flex cables and the metal plate, and it will enhance the contact between the flex cable and the logic board. I'm going to fast forward this so that you're not bored looking at me taking out all these screws, but make sure you place them on a double adhesive tape so that you preserve the order in which they were placed because some of the screws are actually of a different size. So when you're assembling everything, you really, really need to make sure that that metal plate has a really snug fit to make sure it holds that micro SIM card in place properly. So set that aside. We're gonna come back to it in just a second, but this is where the micro SIM card is going to go. It really needs to go right in the middle, right above the flex cables. There's absolutely no need to remove the flex cables or play with them because that's not going to help you at all in this. So at this point in time, we're really trying to carefully place it right in the middle to make sure it doesn't slide out. You can use a technique of using that same double-sided adhesive tape to make sure you secure it in place. Uh, I'm not using it here, I'm just gonna secure it with the screws. And all you have to do next is you really just have to follow the order in which you place the screws on the double-sided adhesive tape, just go in reverse. And so we're going to reassemble this here. And certainly, as I always suggest, take your time with this. Try not to lose any of these screws, because if you do, you might be losing that necessary force to hold that micro SIM card and push those contacts into 
please. Now, once you're done with all the screws, simply bring down the screen from that 90 degree angle you were holding it at the entire time and use those latches to secure them underneath the bend of the upper portion of the back cover and then slowly close it from top to bottom. So from the top of the screen towards the bottom of the screen, you slowly press it down. And of course the buttons work and now the screen also works. Make sure you very carefully test it before you reassemble, before you put back those two Penelope screws you took out in the beginning. Make sure that the screen is responding to touch at all angles. Make sure that, and those by the way are nitrile gloves, so there is no problem in the fact that I'm wearing them. The screen is still fully functional when I'm wearing them. So those are the Penelope screws on the double-sided adhesive tape. And you gotta make sure that you put both of them back in. So do your best not to lose those or the screws that are holding the metal plate inside the phone. So be very careful. So we're going to test it one more time without gloves to make sure that it's still responding to touch because it is possible that the micro SIM card could have shifted a little bit and over time it'll start working. But if it's been working for the last couple of minutes, it's likely that it's going to continue to work. This saves you not only money, but it saves you time. You don't have to go to the Apple store. You don't have to order a new screen. You don't have to order anything. You just use an old SIM card from any provider. Make sure it's a micro SIM card. Make sure it's small enough to fit in there. And I hope that this really helped someone. All right, guys, I hope that this video helped some of you fix your bent iPhone 6 Plus screens. And if you really like this video, please show some love to that like button down below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. See you in my next video very soon. I wanted to tell you about sellcashier.com. So you just got your new iPhone. What will you do with your old one? You may be thinking of selling it on eBay, Craigslist, and so on, and it is definitely a hassle. Now you don't have to do that. Now you can sell it through sellcashier.com. They compare the actual prices of iPhones and give you the best price for your iPhone that you are trying to sell. And the good thing is, is that you are guaranteed the best rate. You also get a free shipping label. Thank you for watching and please check out sellcashier.com.